Davy now scorching temperatures proved to be way too much for some young campers who were overcome with heat exhaustion. Local 10's JC Birch is there live now. And JC, how many young people are we talking about here? 336 kids at the camp, but we're talking about 14 kids that suffered from the heat exhaustion. You know, Calvin, the situation here was this was supposed to be the last day of junior ROTC camp. They say goodbye to camp. They say hello to mom and dad, but the heat was just too much to bear. So right behind me on these campgrounds, 14 teens suffered heat exhaustion with six being transported to local hospitals. All succumbed to the dehydration, but thankfully they are all going to be okay. Now they're being released to their parents at the hospital and the chaperones first noticed something was wrong when the teens began to feel faint and dizzy. Those who were suffering from dehydration were told to sit down, drink plenty of water, and medics were called out here to the camp. We've been out here now since last Sunday. We were breaking up camp today, so the youngsters get, uh, get pretty anxious to get all their, their, their bags together and, and, and move around. It was extremely hot. Uh, they obviously they weren't drinking enough water, and we started seeing the uh, the heat injuries. We now the interesting thing here is that for the last five days, these high schoolers have been in serious high adventure training. You're talking about rappelling, rope, and obstacle courses. That kind of outdoor activity requires the teens to drink at least two canteens of water an hour. And there was only one heat exhaustion problem all week long. But since today was the day to pack your bags, clean out the tents, get ready to go home, what I'm told is that all those teenagers, these were freshmen, sophomore, and juniors, ages 14 to 17, they were so excited to leave that they weren't focusing on drinking that water. So there was the problem. When they're active, they're thinking about the water. When it's time to go home, they forgot about it, and that led to the problems. But thankfully, Calvin and Lori, everybody's going to be okay. That is great news out there. What rough kids they are. All right, JC Birch, live in Davie. Rough and tough.